from the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chum. Singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Chaz Chisholm. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And on the hill for the Phillies, Zach Wheeler. How about a scouting report on him? He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Trevor Story. He's the new shortstop as he comes in as a defensive replacement here. All right, ready to get underway. Now, Brian De La Cruz. Leading off for the Marlins. The wind here. of the pitch. Ryan De La Cruz. That misses. And we're underway here in Philly. First pitch, 7.05. And the righty deals. And there's the strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. That's to third. Bryant throw to first in time. One out in the top of the first. Time now for the Marlins line. They're dealing with a top-level arm of the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. One down, base is empty. Fouled off, he was late. The wind of the pitch. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Offering his foul back. And a pitch. That one missed. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. I love to see guys that compete, hurt. and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You Talk see you it are. so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. That's and the ball. first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. And here it comes. Foul ball there. One one now. And that's outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. the 2-2 two -two. 
And that just misses. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And here's a 3 2. Swings and misses. Marlins set down in order. And 1 2 3 go the Marlins. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Now it's the DH, Brandon Jordan. For the Phillies, the designated hitter, Brandon The big lefty turns, Jordan. kicks, deals. In for a strike, 0-1. One, one. And a pitch. And a foul ball. pitch stays alive the pitch got him looking one away here's Bryce Harper the left fielder right Harper First offering misses the mark. The 1 0. That's a ball. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The pitch. That's in for a strike. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. Next offering is foul back. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty the good out baseman. there on the mound because yeah. when you think of just having a distraction, right. table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter. Any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo nope. shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Chris Bryant at the plate now. Looks at one down below the zone. And the 1 0. And that one ripped into right. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And that's a double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Man at second here with two away, and here is Gene that Segura. Is the second baseman, Gene Swings through that one, 0-1. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And he'll one. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. And a swing and a miss. And that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. Scoreless after one. Set for the start of the inning. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. Leading off for the He's someone that you might not right describe as having elite level speed, Abisail but he can absolutely Garcia. move, and it is a factor in his game. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. 
guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The 0-2. Garcia gets a piece. And the right hander deals. And now one and two. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next offering way off the plate. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far, moving the ball around nicely. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch is inside, and it's three and two. That one fouled off. And he deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. One hammered left field. That ball's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Brian Anderson. And next is the designated hitter, Brian Anderson. First offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. Nope. Just missed. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other. Sometimes you'll get a little extra of the plate, and sometimes you won't. It does seem like he evens it out over the course of the game. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good, but outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Two outs, base is empty. And at the plate for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. In there for strike one. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Miami down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the second. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. And now two and one. one. 
pitch. Stays alive. Next offering misses. And a full count now. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Kick the 3 2. That's hard hit in the line. Dela Cruz brings it in. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, the right there. Baseline. Nothing to show for Three. it. But in your mind, you have to convince oh, yourself yeah. that it was a very good at bat. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. And that's in there for strike one. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. The next pitch misses. One and one. One ball, one strike. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Here's Trevor Story now. Batting seven. Not shortstop. Trevor. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Ripped into right field, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a two-bagger. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. So digging in, Garrett Stokes. Batting it. The pitcher. Garrett. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. And a pitch. That's inside. And now it's even one and one. The one-one. That's ball two. On the ground to third. Zips it across. That's out number three. Philly strand one will move to the third with no score. Back here in Philadelphia, Jazz Chisholm now. Leading off for the Marlins, the second baseman, Jazz Chisholm. The right hander back to work. There's a strike. Pitch misses there, and one and one. That one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle, and that one finds its way through. So a man on base to start the inning. He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Just it. kept it simple. Played Pepper it. with the middle of the Keep infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Jacob Stallings now. 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is down low. And now 2-0. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss, and one out. Miguel Rojas Ready at the play. The shortstop, Miguel. Wheeler with a throw over. Chisholm back on a dive. Back over to first, and he's back in that time as well. Again to first, Eight. and again he's back safely. Count one and oh. Chisholm stands at first with one out. offering upstairs. Two and oh. The 2-0 -oh is in for a strike. Next pitch misses way outside. And here it comes. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Top of the third. No score. Light drive. And that's down. A base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. De La Cruz at the plate now, and that's inside. Runners at first and second with one gone. Runner, runner, Double runner. steal. Next offering is foul back. Yeah, the righty deals. That's a slider for a strike. Yeah, boy, you threw that base runner at second base. You want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release ball. Nope. Next one just misses. It's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two, two now. And another ball. And that's ball four. Here's Joey Wendell. Third baseman, 
Joey Mundo. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Owen oh, two as he waves it down. the ground at first can't glove it cleanly there for the out runner scores from third a lot going on right there first of all first base to making that dive and stop so many times he's looking desperately for the pitcher to beat it to but he decides to get up and beat that base runner to the bag pretty impressive right there and now Jesus Aguilar his first at bat was a strikeout And fouled off. Two outs, two in scoring position. Wait, look out! And it hit him. Well, he's kind of backed himself into a corner and I'm sure starting to feel the pressure right the now. We'll see if he can bear down and get out of this one. Abisail. Two outs, Garcia. bases full. Abisail Garcia digs in now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Up and in, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Two outs. Bases are full. Now one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. A one, two. Got it. Huge strikeout there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Marlins one and the Phillies nothing. Back at Citizens Bank Park, bottom of the inning. This is Simone Muziati. Leading up for the Phillies, the center fielder, Simone. The big lefty Muzi turns, Otto. kicks, deals. That's inside. Yeah, there's a the ball. That one down the line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. Fair ball. Throw to second, not in time, he's there easily. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that ball out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. Not right there, it's perfect. So up next, Brandon Jordan. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. In there for strike one. Fitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And a pitch. Strike two. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Runner at second, nobody out.
Next offering in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. In the dirt, but kept close. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Now here is Harper. Harper not having as much success with the bat here at home as you see the splits. Runner takes off for third. There's a ball, and he throws it away. <laughs> Left-hand hitter waits. And he flips a breaking ball in there, or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. The wind of the pitch. Harper checks his swing, appeal to third. Got him! Ricky Holiday with the call. Chris Bryant getting ready to hit, doubled in his first AP. And that one fouled off. Yo one. Slapped foul. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. On to inning number four. All tied 1-1. One, one. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started, and now the DH, Brian Anderson. The designated hitter, Brian Anderson. Why to kick the pitch? Ooh. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. On the ground. He takes it on his own. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Now back. Left fielder. Jesus Sanchez. Here's the left fielder. Jesus Sanchez. 0 for 1. He was robbed of a hit on a diving catch his first time up. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep. Just one free pass. And uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy. But... He gets soft contact and he gets out. The 0 1. Foul ball. The pitch. All one there. The count is one and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Stays alive.
and a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's out number two. So two now down up. now, and <laughs> here is Jazz, Jazz. Chisholm. Chisholm. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. First pitch, and he just misses. Swing and a miss. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle, but I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Next one off the plate inside. Now two balls and a strike. He swings and fouls one off. Next one misses, and it's a full count. Three, two on the way. And a foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the right-hander deals. That one the other way, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And the Marlins down quietly. Still tied, 1-1. You know how it goes, 1-1-2-1-2. That was the zip code, December 27 was the birth of And welcome back. Bottom of the fourth, Gene Segur at the plate here. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. Just one shy of that milestone. Rogers back to work. There's the strike of the knees. In the air, right side. Garcia under it. Takes the grab, one down. Now batting, right fielder, Nick Castellanos. And digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. He's over one. Fly ball, right field. Garcia has a beat on it. Makes the catch. And there's two away. The first baseman, number 17. Reese. Reese Hoskins, Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Having a nice year in terms of power. Right now he's seventh in the NL in home runs. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, no, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. And that is that. Phillies down in order. The score remains deadlocked at one. Welcome back. And here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Leading off for the Marlins, the catcher, Jacob Stallings. The right-hander back to work. That's inside. inside. Ball, one. Ball one. The 
pitch. Foul ball. Two and two. Stays alive. The pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. He's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And he walked it. Well, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Bulls pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Here's the shortstop at the play, Miguel Rojas. There and it's 0 and 1. There it was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. Mm -hmm. And one and two. Chases that one out of the zone. Picks up strikeout number seven. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider a over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. So the batting order turns over. And up next for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. Pitch misses inside. And that's ball one. Stallings, the base runner at first with one out. Next offering is down low. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Zach Eflin appears to be getting loose. Falter, the lefty, warming up as well. That's the next three. offering misses, and it's 3 0. pitch there's the strike well, just about to hit that century mark a hundred pitches for this game three one now and ball four to a board second walk of the game for him and he's been really patient at the play now, the game plan that he's sticking to he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there first and second one out here's the third baseman Joey Wendell Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Ground ball to first. Could be two. Off balance feed. There's one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. Home half of the fifth coming up. All tied 1 1. Head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Trevor Story. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. The wind of the pitch. 
There's the strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next offer is in for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. And he'll two. Way inside, gets out of the way. And there's one down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Now batting, the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Garrett Stubbs will hit next. Grounded out his first time up. In there for strike one. And he deals. And a good eye there. 1 0. Good eye right there. Check swing. He won two and two. Kicks and deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And now two ball. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And there are not many of these hitters that had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Simone Muziati. And the first oh, pitch misses for ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Not in time, he legs it out. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap to give the Phillies the lead. Brandon Jordan. Now it's going to be Brandon Jordan. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The 0 1. That one's in there, and the count is 0 and 2. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Next pitch inside, and a count one and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. That one ran inside, almost got him. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the catch in and goal. One left for Philadelphia. The score remains tied, 1-1. Six. And now the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. The first baseman, 
Jesus Fabio. Here comes the pitch. And that's in for a strike. It's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Two. Next pitch right, in the dirt. Two and two. two, and two. Oh. And here it comes. That one misses, and that's ball three. And a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. You're always having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And down on strikes he goes. One away. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Zach Wheeler won't go any further, and it's a tie ball game as he heads to the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Up it, let me in, you won't regret it. Baby, it's your world, and I'm just living it's in it. World. Let me behold you, story you told. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Zach Kevin. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Zach. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now it's going to be Abasail Garcia. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. Right-hander kicks deals. And Garcia gets a piece. And a pitch. And a count one and two. That hits the dirt. Ball two. Got him. Two out. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty now excellent that, pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've Ryan come in ready to do their good. job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Stepping in, Ryan Anderson. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Castellanos makes the catch, and that'll do it. 2 3 4, two up in the home half of the sixth. All tied 1 1. Back here in Philadelphia, John Chomby with Chris Singleton in the booth, and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Bryce Harper. Rogers back to work. That's a strike. That's strike one. All one's the count. Next pitch is outside. Okay. 
and a 1-1. Foul ball there. The one two. And that is there. Harper frustrated as he's rung up on strikes. And he lets the plate umpire know. The, the third baseman. Chris Bryant. Here's Chris Bryant now. First offering misses the mark. The wind of the pitch. And it's one and one. Ball Next two. offering misses. And a count two and two one. one they say you win. Two, two. Punch out there, out number two. No, oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Gene Segura now at the plate. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. And now the lefty. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Gets the outside corner with that one. Two down, nobody on. I got to count two and two. Out front and foul to the left side. And a pitch. Three, two Please. down. Stays alive. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Out to center. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still tied, 1-1. One, one. We go to the top of the seventh, and now for the Marlins, Jesus Leading Sanchez. Miami, the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. The pitch. In there at the knees, that's strike one. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball to strike. Strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pick. Next one misses, two and two. The next pitch misses, all three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. The wind of the pitch. 
In the air, left field. Harper going back on this one. Racing makes the catch. One the down. Number two, second baseman. Jazz. And at the plate for Miami, Jazz Chisholm. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. 0 2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Stubbs out to first. And two away to start the seven. Now batter, the catcher, Jacob. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Ball Next one. offering is down low. One and oh. Nope. Next one misses. Two and oh. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he went around. Rule the swing. Two outs. And it's fouled away. Riding to the plate. To third. Byers over to Hoskins. And that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the mark. So the score remains deadlocked at one. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Anthony Bass. Out for the 30th time this year. Anthony Bass. Back at Citizens Bank Park. And now, Nick Castellanos. For the Phillies. He's a big, strong guy. The can right untie field. this game Nick. with one swing. The pitch. Looked like it was a little bit up. Movement in the bullpen. Richard Blyer appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. One up. Two and oh. Fought off foul. The pitch. Late swing fouled off. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. This to center field. De La Cruz moving under this one. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. The first baseman. Three. And it's Reese Hoskins, Hoskins up to the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Oh. 
The nope, next offering misses. One and two to count. One and two. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes the catch for the out. Now batting. Not shortstop. Trevor. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. On the ground to the left. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Garrett Stubbs stands in for the Phillies. And that's in there for strike one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. At the belt and fire. Kick off move to first. Story back in at a dive. Next offering is in for a strike. Bats picks over. Story gets back easily. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. Tap back to the mound. Tosses to first, and that is the inning. We look ahead to inning number eight, all tied 1-1. Back here in Philadelphia, ready to begin the eighth. And now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. The shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Why to kick the pitch? That's inside. And that is ball one. The pitch. High fly ball out into left center field. Makes the grab on the left. One up, one down. Now by the center fielder. Back to the top of the lineup, Ryan De La Cruz digs in now. First pitch, just misses. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And a 1-0. Pitch misses, and that's ball two. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Next pitch is inside. Three and one. And now a full count. to the mound. Tosses to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. Up next to the Marlins, the third baseman, Joey Wendell. So digging in, Joey Wendell. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike.
the 1-1. One -one. And that one ripped to left. Lays out and makes the play. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the boys fired up in the dugout. So the Marlins go with a new arm. Richard Blyer. He last pitched two days ago. Richard Blyer. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, bottom of the eighth. Here's the speed threat, Simone Muziotti. No, this guy, a player Zero. that, if he gets on base, Muziotti. has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And he deals. Line, and that's a base hit. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. So the Philly batting order turns over. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Oh, Next dude. offering misses, and it's two and one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jordan Holloway, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. The next pitch misses. Now three and one. Now move to first. And he's back standing. Nobody out. Runner at first. take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice play to play. Bryce Harper to the play. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Uh, first offering is fouled off. Lucy out of the lead runner at second. Jordan out at first with nobody out. Next pitch off the plate, and that's ball one. And batter waits. Swing and a pop up. Now battle. The third baseman. Got a red. Two on, one out. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. This is what stat nerds like myself might call 
a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an event that could change the course of this game dramatically. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And now the one. Off the plate, one and one. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. That's pitches downstairs. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. That's the second out. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go-ahead run at second base, two. but second job's base, not man. done yet. Got to get that Jeez. last out before you can exhale no, and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this whole crowd applying so much pressure. So first and second with two outs. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Gene Segura. There's a foul ball. Yo one. That misses the zone, and it's a ball to strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. In the air, center field. De La Cruz under it. And that is the third out of the inning. Phillies leave a couple. The score remains tied 1 1. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth. And now for the Marlins, Jesus Aguilar. Eflin back to work. And that's down and away. Right-handed reliever. And fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses. And a count, one and two. In the air, out towards left center. Luciano puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. The right fielder, number 14, Avasayo Garcia. Avasayo Garcia, the next up for the Marlins. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. In there for strike one. to a two. Kicks and deals. 
And now it's three and two. Home plate umpires try to tighten things up a little bit. And a 3-2. Got him. And there are two out. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trusting your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. One in. So now the DH spot, Ryan Anderson. Next pitch has popped up. Story has this one sized up, and that'll do it. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the night. All tied, 1-1. One, one. I do it all. If we ain't talking money, we ain't talking just the game. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh now, arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Zach Pop hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. And now the right fielder, Nick Castellanos. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. And a pitch. That smash towards center. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard Number and right at Number someone. 17. Looking for one of those blue Three. hits to get a knock sometimes. Hoskins. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. Puts the winning run on base. So Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so... That's flexing your muscles a little bit. That one ripped. And it drops foul into the corner. Pop picks the first. Real Muto back in there. One down. Winning run on at first. Next pitch misses, and one and one. The one one. Swings through that one. The one, two. Got him! Two gone now. And now the Phillies, Garrett Stubbs. Pop over to first. Real Muto back in standing. First pitch, not close. And 
next offering is in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. Left hand hitter waits. In there. And so now one and two. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. And a pitch. And that one missing low. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Nice grab on the run. And that's the inning. Philly strand one, still tied, 1-1. One, one. JT Real Muto getting this loose there. The He's now in the game at first. Now playing first base. On to extra innings. And now, Jesus Sanchez. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Carlos Rodon. Up and throwing for Joe Girardi. Falter warming up as well. The 1-0. And that one is lifted in the air. That's back there. And it hits the top of the wall. One run is in. The throw to third, and he's out, trying for three. Jazz Chisholm, the, the next up for the Marlins. One for three. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Castellanos makes the catch, and there are two down. The pitcher, now it's the Marlins catcher, Jacob Stallings. In there, and it's 0-1. In the air, right field, Castellanos under this one. Brings it in for the third out. Last chance to even things up. We head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Marlins 2 and the Phillies 1. Dylan Flora comes on now, and he'll work on holding this lead. Number 36, Dylan Flora. Welcome back. We're in extras here. Digging in, it's the speedy Here outfielder, Simone Muziotti. The center fielder, Simone Muziotti. Pitch. And that one fouled off. In today's game, outs are valuable, so guys aren't just willing to give themselves up to advance a runner. They're trying to drive him in as well in the process. So I don't expect him to shorten up and just try to hit behind the runner here. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters. And three pitches later, you got one out. Tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Brandon Jordan, the next to hit. Oh, 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, they're applying pressure, quality at bats, quality swings right now. And you see this offense doing it, one man to the next, showing a lot of fight right now. And they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. And the 1 0. -oh. And the 1 0 -oh misses low. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And the righty deals. That's a strike. One down. Phillies down a run. And one fouled off. Two and two. One away. The winning run at second. Next pitch misses inside. Three and two down. So now three and two. Right side. Chisholm loves it. Phillies have just one out remaining. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground no, ball. Excellent piece of work. Run. Harper. And the batter now, Bryce Harper, trying to deliver as the hero. In a spot like this, are you up there thinking to yourself, I'm trying to end the game? Absolutely. It's been a long one. You're hungry. Well, you're ready to go home. And yeah, the first well, offering is not close. The tying run is 90 feet away. Well, Next offering is downstairs. comes a pitch and downstairs appears to working around him with the base open singing well you know these 2-0 -oh counts boo they're just not what they used to be and they sound like old guys when I say that but ultimately this is a strategic game and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation Right-hander kicks, deals, and there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Chris Bryant will hit next. And Bill, I'd say he's due. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity of the ball has gone up a few notches for sure. Offering misses the mark. Two outs. Both the tying and winning runs are on. Foul ball. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Just one out away, try to close it out. Swing and a miss, struck him out. The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras in 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy.
Three yellow diamond in the pinky ring. I kiss it, keep it so exquisite. 